Technology. We use it every day in our lives. As a farmer today, technology plays an important role in all sectors of agriculture. That's why at Marcrest, we are committed to working with new technologies to help farmers around the world harvest their crops quicker, easier, and with less resources. Introducing the SwingMax 3200 series. With built-in safety features, improved steering for smoother operation, more PTO connection and control options, improved drive system, easier maintenance, and a unique feature, the ability for the second axle to steer itself, the all new auto guidance system. Developed in conjunction with our suppliers, the SwingMax auto guidance system was tested and perfected. This system uses LiDAR technology to find the windrow and adjust the axle, ensuring the second baler follows the windrow in whatever position it's lying in. The new SwingMax 3200 series with auto guidance system makes following the windrow with the second baler incredibly easy. And now let's go to Isaac, the lead designer of the SwingMax 3200, as he goes through the benefits, upgrades, and features of this new machine. Hi, I'm Isaac, lead designer of the SwingMax 3200 series power hitch. I'm gonna walk through a number of machine features and improvements we've made to show you just how easy it is to double your small bale productivity with just one tractor and one operator. Let's talk about tractor horsepower requirements. To operate the 3200 series swing max requires at least a 120 horsepower tractor for the 540 RPM option. The 1000 RPM option requires at least a 160 horsepower tractor. The swing max is also available without PDO outputs for implements not requiring a PDO driveline. Getting field ready is easy thanks to the SwingMax's quick and universal hookup. The SwingMax is compatible with three-point hitches in category size two, three, and three narrow, as well as being quick hitch compatible. The 3200 series now features clean-out covers in the oil tanks. This allows for easier long-term maintenance such as changing filters and cleaning any foreign contaminants from the hydraulic system. Both inline and side pole balers can be used with the swing max. Each baler hookup point has all the connections required to operate the baler functions. The baler PDOs hook directly onto the swing max with no baler modification needed. There are hydraulic remotes to operate the pickup lift and tongue swing functions of the balers. Also included are electrical connections for the balers. This plug allows for direct integration for the Nodder fan and work lights on the 2017 and newer Heston Model 1840 balers. Adapters are also available for other balers. The other plug is a standard 3-pin ag power connection to power auxiliary baler systems such as hay preservative applicators. We offer three different steering options for the 3200 Swing Max. Economy, Manual, and Auto. The Economy model utilizes three remotes from the tractor. One remote is used to directly steer the Swing Max axle. The second remote is used to control a function on the front baler, and the third a function on the rear baler. The Manual and Auto models require only one tractor remote. On the Manual model, Steering and baler functions are controlled using the rocker switches on the cab control. The auto steer model allows steering control through the rotary encoder dial and control of the baler functions through the in-cab display. Both these models utilize a hydraulic manifold located at the front and rear of the swing max. As a result, we can provide control of two functions per baler on these models. These models are available with optional baler cameras to keep the baler pickup and bale shoot in view on the 7-inch tractor cab display. Now let's talk about the Swing Max arm. The arm design is modular. The sections bolt together, which allows longer and shorter sections to be added or removed as necessary. This means that if requirements change at any time, the Swing Max can be adapted to meet those new needs. The Swing Max is available in 20, 24, 
28, 32, and 36 foot working widths. We're now at the rear of the Swing Max where we're going to talk about some of the updated safety features of the new 3200 series. Here's the hardened lock pin, which allows the axle to be safely locked in position when operating on the road. The 3200 now has a dual cylinder mount with integrated counterbalance valves to increase the level of safety. This means that if a hose breaks during operation, the arm is locked into position and won't move. The dual cylinder design also ensures better precision and consistent speed in both directions when turning. All of this means that even if a failure occurs, there won't be any unexpected movement during high speed travel with the Swing Max. The new rear hydraulic motor design has a bearing mount on the other side of it. This increases the lifetime of the motor and allows it to better withstand the strain put on it by Baylor operations. This LiDAR sensor is the heart of our automatic guidance system. It projects infrared light across 16 individual channels and then precisely records the time it takes each to reflect back and converts that to a distance. This gives the Swing Max an accurate picture of the landscape in front of it so that it can automatically identify the windrow and center itself on it. The Swing Max comes standard with an LED work light kit, which is controlled from the cab. Along with the Baylor work light integration, this keeps your baler well lit even when working late into the night. Let's talk a little about the auto guidance side of things. With auto guidance, we have lock pin in and out sensors, dual speed sensors on the axle, and dual angle sensors on both pivots. These sensors allow us to know how the machine is moving and what state it's in at all times. The cooler fan on the auto steer model employs a temperature sensor that can automatically turn the fan on when the oil reaches a certain temperature threshold. It also uses the computerized system to automatically reverse the fan at a time interval that you determine. This keeps chaff from building up on the bottom of the cooler. Let's move into the cab where we can check out all the other auto guidance features. First, I want to show you the precision of control we can achieve with the dial. The dial can be tuned to the operation. This allows the axle to steer exactly the distance needed, down to a few inches, giving that extra precision of control needed in the field. Now let's talk about auto steer in road mode. This is an important safety feature and a huge time saver for road travel with the Swing Max. The Swing Max is a very long machine. However, in our field trials and testing, Auto Steer has shown that even when an operator does not intentionally make a wide turn, the Swing Max will track closely around the corner. This is accomplished using a computerized function that considers the speed and angle movement of the Swing Max in real time. This function is also used during headland turns to allow the machine to turn around in considerably less space. The system also displays the real time pump load percentage. This means that an operator can identify at a glance how close to maximum capacity the rear drive line is operating at. Because the auto guidance system is computerized, it also provides maintenance notifications, letting the operator know when to replace the hydraulic filters or perform other service on the machine. We have used the same smart solve system mentality that has been a part of the bale baron for years and developed safety systems and fault monitoring for the Swing Max Auto System. The system alerts users if the machine is not behaving as expected or if values are out of range and directs the operator to the specific issue or problem component. With the 3200 manual model, we've made it plug and play so that it's easy to upgrade to the auto model. It's an upgrade worth considering on a 3200 Swing Max. The economy model cannot be upgraded to a manual or auto steer system. This wraps up our Swing Max 3200 series walk around. Thanks for following along.